Hey, this is Phil and Wes. We're out here in beautiful Crested Butte, Colorado. Yes, we are. Remembering our good buddy, Mark. And Mark, we wish you were here with us, but we know you're here with us in spirit. Yep. And what we wanted to say directly to you, wherever you are, hopefully your spirit is here flying around. And we know you love this place. And you brought me here for the first time along with Wes. And I'm back for the third time. And mm -hmm. I'll keep coming back. It was all because of you, man. And uh, we love you and we miss you. And uh, Wes is going to say a few words. And then uh, we got a little ceremony we're going to put on for you. And uh, just to remember you, bye, buddy. Love you. All right, Phil. Well, uh, Mark, I don't know, in about the last five minutes, the wind picked up. We got about a 25 mile an hour wind coming out of the kind of southwest. So maybe you're uh, introducing yourself. Phil saw a bear run across the trail yesterday. I don't know if you're up here acting out in the animals, but. <laughs> If there was someone who was going to do that, I have a feeling you'd be getting away with it somehow, even though it's probably against the rules. So, um, man, we miss you being up here with us. And uh, I remember lots of lots of trails up here with that green oxygen bottle, <laughs> stopping a few times to hit the Topo Chico and uh, make it to the top. I was proud of you for getting up here. Uh, you had a lot of you had a lot of physical struggles the last couple of years, and man, you you handled it like a champ. We love you for that. I want to read a couple things out of our text. Alcoholics Anonymous says, uh, Working with others is the name of it. Practical experience shows that nothing will so much ensure immunity from drinking as intensive work with other alcoholics. It works when other activities fail. This is our 12th suggestion. Carry this message to other alcoholics. You can help when no one else can. You can secure their confidence when others fail. I picked that because the man standing next to me probably would not be on this mountain. He might not be in the life that we have right now if you hadn't picked him up in Austin when he needed it the most and uh, brought him up here. And uh, the fact that you and I started together seven or eight years ago with uh, some good questions about learning uh, to be willing, um, that, that started what has become a, uh, a little gift that keeps on giving and now I have a new friend here and, and we have you uh, waiting for us. So I'm gonna read a little bit more and it says, life will take on new meaning. I saw that happen. To watch people recover, to help uh, see them help others. You, Mark. To watch loneliness vanish. To see a fellowship grow up about you, to have a host of friends. This is an experience you must not miss on Monday night at Cam's house. We know you're not going to want to miss it, and you never did. Frequent contact with newcomers and with each other is the bright spot of our lives. So, Mark, to honor you, we brought your very favorite beverage and mine, too, a fresh Topo Chico all the way from Austin, Texas. We didn't even have to stop anywhere to get it like we did on the way up here. I'm going to take a sip. Wes is going to take a sip, and we're going to pour it out in your honor. And believe me, I have a hard time wasting a Topo Chico, but for you, pal, I'm going to do it. We forgot the line, bro. Look at those bubbles, though. Aquí está el Topo Chico de México. Es el auténtico Topo Chico. thought you were going to say, there's your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. You want Actually, you pour it out, and I'll play. Then you pick up that harmonica and just start All doing right. it.